Hi, my name is Dr. Ferdinand Mweke, and this is Truth in Brief, where we bring you the Word of God in just a few minutes so that you can grow in the grace of God. And I'm bringing this edition to you from Swan Week in Derbyshire, where I'm speaking at a conference at the Hayes Conference Center. Now, we've been looking at divine priorities, and we have seen that it's important to live our lives conscious of the priorities on the heart of God. And without that, it means that we're going to squander our lives on something that is not the primary reason why the Lord wants us here. And in this edition, I'd like to read a verse that shows us the priority of understanding the times so that we can flow with the purposes of God. And that's just one verse in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 12 and verse 32. This is a record of the people that came to David that helped him to become king after the Lord had spoken the word and anointed him through the prophet Samuel. He didn't become king automatically. It took a process and God had to gather people that helped to make that possible. And so we read of this tribe which is called the tribe of Issachar. So of the sons of Issachar, First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32, it says, of the sons of Issachar, they were people who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. Their chiefs were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment. These men from the tribe of Issachar, there were 200 leaders and everybody was at their command. And scripture tells us something peculiar about these leaders from the tribe of Issachar. It says they were people who had understanding of the times. You see how important it is for leaders and for every believer to understand the times. The reason is because scripture says to everything there is a season and to every purpose on the earth there is a time. If you look at the life of the Lord Jesus, Jesus as he was coming down the Mount of Olives, the Lord Jesus saw Jerusalem and the Bible said he began to weep over Jerusalem. And he said, oh, Jerusalem, 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 you are killing the prophets sent to you. Jerusalem, you're missing all the benefits that God has ordained for you. And the time is coming when your enemies are going to come against you and they are going to set up embankments against you. They are going to attack you. They are going to destroy you and your children. And Jesus said, it's because you did not know the time of your visitation. Jerusalem did not know the time when the Lord was showing her mercy. It's so important that you understand the time that, first of all, in your life, what season are you in? What is the time in your life? What is the divine clock saying concerning your life personally? Then secondly, we must understand what is the time we must understand the times in which we live. We must understand the signs of the time so that we know how to concentrate on the right priorities. Elisha said to his servant Gehazi, you, if you know the story, when Gehazi went to go and collect stuff from Naaman, Elisha asked him a question. He said, is this the time? Is this the time? There was nothing wrong with all the things that uh, um, uh, uh, Gehazi went to collect, but was this the time for that? And Elisha said, no, you're making a mistake. This is not the time. So we must be people that have understanding of the times so that we can look at the church, we can look at our lives, we can look at our generation and have clarity about what God is doing and at what time he is doing it. If we are not such persons, we will be doing the right thing at the wrong time. We will be pursuing the wrong priorities at the right time that God has ordained for us to do something else. So I want to encourage you, child of God, how do we understand the times? It means we must be people of God's presence. If we are going to walk in divine priorities, we have to be people that spend time in the Word of God. We have to be people that look at what God is doing, look at our generation, so that we can flow in divine agenda. We will not miss the purposes of God. And my prayer is that God will raise up sons of Issachar who understand the times and who will be able to lead the people of God. You see, because the sons of Issachar understood the time, 
they could move away from the house of Saul over to the house of David. They knew that the cloud of glory had moved and it was time to move with the cloud. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My prayer for you is that you will walk in clarity of the times and the seasons, both in your own life and in the purposes of God among his people. In Jesus' name, amen.